Hey all and into Webland. Today we're looking at what's your forklift's rated capacity. Now if you were to say two and a half tonne, you'd be incorrect. That's its base capacity. When we add things like a mass change from two stage to three stage, taller lift heights, add attachments, side shifts, fork positioners, these all add weight to the front of the forklift and derate the forklift's rated capacity. From two and a half tonne at a 500 millimetre load centre, with a three-stage container mast, our capacity drops down to 1,940 kilograms at a 600 millimetre load centre. Here we have a Komatsu FB30. Over here, it has a side shift fitted. Here we have the lift height to 4.7 metres, the load centre 600 millimetres. So it's 4.7 lift height, 600 millimetre load centre. The retained or rated capacity is 2,260 kilos. Now if we go and fit some slippers to 4.7 and a 600 load centre, the added weight of the slippers drops the capacity from 2260 to 2180. Now let's extend the load centre on the slippers. These slippers are 1800 long, meaning the load centre is now 900 millimetres. Your capacity drops down to 1510 kilograms. Here we have a cascade rotating fork positioner, which is the section between the rear carriage to the new carriage at the front of the forklift. This area here, approximately 20 centimetres, is called lost load centre. So your load centre is now extended from 600 to approximately 800 mil. This is where it gets tricky. It has a bow clamp designed to handle insulation bats. Notice the size of it, it's quite big. The load weight it's picking up is prox approximately half a tonne. So you would think, I only need a 1.5 tonne forklift. Wrong. You need a two and a half tonne forklift. I hope that helps you understand rated capacities on forklift. Thanks for your time and watching today.